Now we've been so busy in the last couple of years, the problem hasn't really been getting customers in, it's actually getting enough fantastic quality plants to put in boxes because we've started growing our own plants at our other nursery. Uh, we're growing, getting plants from British growers, which is great, but we always wanted to be in control really to produce our own organic plants. And I think we found the answer. We're in an amazing cucumber nursery in Essex. It's half an acre of glass. The cucumbers are all going in the next couple of weeks. We are going to propagate our own plants. We're going to grow them here and we're going to have more plants than we could ever hope for. We are so excited. And we're going to show you the progress of what we do here in the next few weeks. Maybe we should just do cucumbers, they're lovely. This is so exciting, really. We've got half an acre of glass. We're just taking it over. The first plants from the other nursery are coming here. We're going to get all our stock here throughout December, really. By Christmas, I think all our stock will be here. We can then figure out exactly what we've got, plan for next year. We're hoping to do our own propagating, growing all our own plants in this wonderful space, but then bringing them back to the other nursery to box up to go around the country. So it's going to be a fantastic year and it's going to really make us self-sufficient. That's where we want to be, so we can go right from the beginning to the end with our own stock, all grown in Britain. It's a dream come true, to be honest. You may remember last time we were here, this was a massive empty space. And as you can see, it is filling up really quickly. I mean, I thought the space was too big, but actually We've got another two days of bringing plants over, so everything is here, and I'm not quite sure if it's going to be big enough. <laughs> but what the great thing is to see all our plants sitting there, happy, beautiful, and ready for next spring. We brought probably about 30% over, and this, the gaps are getting smaller, and it's starting to fill up really quickly. So <laughs> it's now kind of December time. They're going to be nice and protected in here. We can then snip them, feed them, pop them up, look after them through the winter, get them all set out in alphabetical order over the next month or so, ready to start potting up all the little plants that we've got here into new pots in January. So these little hookahs will stay like that for now. They're quite happy in there. Got to just water them, look after them, take off any dead leaves, and in January we'll start potting all these up, ready for orders next year. We've never had that many formiums. We've got about 2,000 there, I think, all ready to go in borders from February next year. That makes me feel really good. We started to grow our own as well. They've been potted up about six weeks ago. Looking fantastic. The others have been cut back, ready to come back from about March onwards, they'll start regrowing. So we've got about six varieties. That should last us, I reckon, till probably May or June next year. We've got all our grasses together. We've got the Carexes, all different colours, bronzy, golden, lovely lime green, Everillo, my favourite, soft golden yellow, love that. Ophio Pogan, the black grass, look how healthy they are. Absolutely fantastic. We might be able to split those up in January before we pot them up to make an extra one. So all the grasses go pretty much in all of the borders, really, sun or shade. We've got different grasses for different borders. Uh, they all add something, give a winter interest, movement, good for birds to use the grasses to nest in and so on and so forth. And just a really good contrast with perennials and shrubs. And I think we've got about a thousand there, it's fantastic. Now not everything is looking healthy and beautiful because things like the potentilla look terrible in the winter. In fact they look dead, but I know that they are alive and well. They're dormant now, but from May right the way through October, they're full of flowers. Definitely worth putting in borders, even though in the winter they don't look quite so good. So what we tend to do is, to, if we've got a potentilla nearby, we'd actually plant something like this uh, Carochia clover, which is evergreen, so your eye will go from that, which is nice through the summer. You'll ignore that in the winter, and you look at that beautiful evergreen. Or in a shadier border, it might use fatsias. So uh, this has given me a... Basically, it's a fantastic playground. I can play here for the next couple of months, getting all our borders ready for next year.